Welcome back to another video for N2 Industrial Electronics. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at measuring instruments. A measuring instrument is a device that can be used to determine the value or magnitude of an unknown quantity or variable. In this illustration, we have a moving coil instrument with two fixed permanent magnets which are a North Pole and a South Pole. Now, under normal conditions, lines of flux run from North to South. When current passes through the coil, a magnetic field is set up and the angular force causes the coil to rotate on its axis. The amount of deflection depends on the magnitude or the strength of the current through the coil. There are a few mechanisms inside our measuring instrument. And in order to ensure that the pointer doesn't jump around or oscillate, we have air damping. And this involves a chamber filled with air. The pressurization inside the chamber ensures that the pointer moves from the zero position without jumping around. For mechanical damping, the pointer is attached to a hairspring. Whenever there is no measurement taking place, the hairspring will cause the pointer to move back to the off position. Another form of damping is eddy current damping, also known as magnetic damping. And this uses an aluminium disc to oppose the natural lines of flux running from north to south. For a single phase circuit, which is the direct connection, we will connect a voltmeter in parallel to the load. An amp meter would be connected directly in series to the load. And a watt meter, which is used to measure the amount of energy consumed per hour, consists of two coils, the current coil connected in series to the load and the voltage coil connected in parallel to the load. And this brings us to the moving coil instrument calculation. A moving coil instrument with an internal resistance of 60 ohms gives a full scale deflection when 15 milliamps flows through it. Now, these two illustrations are going to help us in order to solve the unknown variable, which is the value of the shunt resistor and the value of the series resistor. Now, in order for our moving coil instrument to measure current, we will place a resistor in parallel to the meter. And for our moving coil instrument to measure voltage, we will put a resistor in series with the meter. Now, the value of the shunt resistor to be used with the meter so that it will be able to measure current of up to nine amps. So the resistance of the meter is 60 ohms. The total current being measured is nine amps. And in order to have a deflection, we need a current of 15 milliamps divided by 1000 gives us 0.015 amps flowing through the meter. And our formula to the right shows us that to calculate the value of the shunt resistance, it will be the current flow through the meter multiplied by the resistance of the meter divided by the shunt current. To calculate the shunt current, it will be I total minus the current flow through the meter. And that gives us 8,985 amps. If we substitute the uh, current flow through the meter of 0,015 amps, multiplied by the resistance of the meter, which is 60 ohms, divided by the shunt current of 8,985, we end up with a shunt resistance of 0, 0,1 ohms. Now to determine the value of the series resistor so that the meter can be used to, as a voltmeter to measure a voltage ranging from zero volts to 80 volts. Now you'll notice that this is a series circuit, which implies that current remains the same. However, voltage is divided. The total voltage that this measuring instrument will measure is 80 volts. Now voltage is divided in the series circuit. Therefore, the sum of the volt drop across the series resistor plus the sum of the volt drop across the meter will give you the total voltage. But to simplify this calculation, we're going to use the formula straight from the formula sheet. 
to determine the value of the series resistor, it will be the total voltage being measured divided by the current flow through the meter, subtract the resistance of the meter, nice and simple. So the total voltage being measured is 80 volts, the current flow through the meter of 15 milliamps, which equates to 0.015 amps, minus the resistance of the meter of 60 ohms. Therefore, the value of the series resistor connected in series with the meter is 5,273,33 ohms. Right, and our final point here, we're going to look at the advantages of digital meters when compared to the old analog meters. Now, new digital multimeters are more accurate. However, they do tend to be more sensitive. They can handle negative quantities. A reverse polarity, in other words, a negative sign will be used to indicate a reverse polarity. Overload is indicated on the display and a precise measurement is indicated. Right, thanks very much for watching this brief video on measuring instruments. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you.